Welcome to the Learning Horizon. In today's video, we will learn about base 10 blocks and the place values for a two digit number. Base 10 blocks This is 1's block. Its value is equal to 1. That is why when we have 1's block, we count by 1's. For example, here we have 2 blocks. 2 blocks represents a number 2. 3 blocks represents the number 3. 4 blocks is equal to 4. All the one digit numbers from 1 to 9 can be represented by 1's blocks. When there are 10 1's block, they group as a family of 10 and form a 10's block. 1 10's block is equal to 10 1's block. So the value of 10's block is equal to 10. When we have 10's block, we don't count all the individual blocks in the group. Instead, we know the value is 10. So we count by tens. For example, we have two tens block. Each of this represents a value of 10. So let us count 10, 20. So two tens is equal to 20. Now we have three tens block. So three tens is equal to 30. Similarly, four tens is equal to 40. 5 tenths is equal to 50 and so on. All the tenths that are highlighted here in a hundreds chart can be represented by a tenths block. Now let us look at few more examples with both tenths and ones block. Value of ones block is equal to 1. Value of tenths block is equal to 10. Let us look at this example. Here we have two tenths block. So we will count by tens. Here we have three ones block. So we will count by ones. So let us count 10, 20, 21, 22, 23. So as you observe, when I was counting these blocks, I was counting in tens. When I was counting these blocks, I was counting in ones. So, the value of this is equal to 23. Let us look at another example. Here is 10, 20, 30, 40, 41, 42. All the two digit numbers can be represented using 1's and 10's blocks. 1's block is also called a unit. And sometimes we also represent 1's block as a dot. 10's block is also called as rod. We can also represent 10's as a stick. For example, this can also be represented in the form of sticks and dots, where sticks represent 10's and dots represent 1's. Let us summarize our learning so far for base 10 blocks. This is a 1's block, which is also called a unit. It can also be represented as a dot. Value of each 1's block is equal to 1. Therefore, when we have a group of 1's block, we always count by 1's. All the single digit numbers can be represented by 1's block. This is a 10's block, which is also called a rod. It can be represented as a stick. Value of each tens block is equal to 10 because one tens block is equal to 10 ones block. Therefore, when we have a group of tens block, we count by tens. All the tens can be represented by tens block. And all the two digit numbers can be represented by ones and tens block. Now, let us understand the concept of place value for two digit numbers. There are 10 digits in math. 
any number can be formed with just these 10 digits because of a concept called place value. This is our place value house for a two digit number. This house has a place for ones and a place for tens. But this house has a rule. Each place can hold only one digit. For example, let us consider a digit 2. We can place this digit in 1's place or a 10's place or both 10's and 1's place. But having more than one digit in the same place is not allowed. Each place here represents a different amount that is 1's place represents the number of 1's and 10's place represents the number of 10's. The value of each digit is determined based on where it is placed and that is called the place value. Let us understand place value concept with an example. I will consider the digit 4. First, I will place it in the 1's place. 4 in the 1's place means 4 ones which is equal to 4 ones block. Remember each ones block is equal to 1 so 4 ones is equal to 4. Now let us place the same digit 4 in the tens place. 4 tens means 4 tens block and each tens block equal 10 so 4 tens is equal to 40. As we observe here, the same digit 4 is worth 4 when it is placed in the 1's place and is worth 40 when we placed it in the 10's place. Two digit numbers have two places. This is the place for 10's and this is the place for 1's. For example, if I take the two digit number 46, it means that I have 4 10's and 6 1's which can be represented as 4 tens 40, 6 ones 6. So 46 is equal to 4 tens and 6 ones, which is equal to 40 plus 6. This way of representing a number is called expanded form, where you expand in terms of tens and ones. Now let us take the same digits but in different places. Let us have the digit 6 in 10's place and 4 in 1's place. That means we have 6 10's and 4 1's. 6 10's equals 60. 4 1's is 4. So 64 can also be written as 64 equal to 6 10's plus 4 1's which is equal to 60 plus 4. As we observe, same two digits 4 and 6 form two different numbers 46 and 64 based on where we place the digits. To summarize, today we have learned how a two digit number has tens and ones, how to identify the tens and ones and place them in the place value chart then how the number can be represented using base 10 blocks and then finally how to write the expanded form for a given number. If you have any queries or suggestions kindly leave a comment below. Also do not forget to check the description below for additional information on anchor charts and worksheets.